Well, Captain, one might ask, uh, will this equipment not obscure the lines between soldier and police officers, especially in those small communities where they're already being distributed? What's your take on that? Yes, it will obviously obscure the line between military and the police, but I'm not at all concerned so much with small com communities that you mentioned. I'm concerned with the large cities where you have large minority populations living in economically depressed areas. That's where you're going to have problems. You bring this type of equipment into a minority area, you are going to make those people feel as if they're living in an occupied territory. You're going to alienate them. And what happens is you get a halo effect. A halo effect means that that alienation transfers to all the other officers in that department. It transfers, that alienation transfers to the officers in the patrol cars, the officer on the footbeat, the officers in the community relations division. So bringing that type of equipment is going to alienate people from all parts of the police de department. What people don't know is input from community members is one of the most important ways crimes are solved. They know the bad guys in the area, they hear the rumors, they hear the gossip, they know what's going on in their communities. Too many people think that crime is solved through high-tech forensic labs or exemplary investigative work. Not true. Although these two come in very handy, in many cases, most of your information about crimes comes from the community. And you bring this military type of mindset into the community, you're not going to get that interaction from the members of that community. Well, some police officers have, have said that it's necessary to have uh, these kind of equipment come in, especially if you're covering a protest and it gets out of hand. That is the worst idea I could think of, is to have high caliber weapons at a protest. Think of Kent State, where they shot so many and killed so many innocent people. And they were not high caliber weapons. Can you imagine the massacre that would take place if officers had high caliber weapons? I spent a year in New York City supporting the Occupy movement. I was arrested down there for civil disobedience and never did I see any type of behavior by those protesters that would ever need any type of, any type of weapon, uh, let alone high caliber. If anything, it was the protesters that would have needed high caliber weapons. There are three types of people that join the police department, basically. One joins because of a uh, need for a job that can give him, a comfortable, him or her a comfortable lifestyle. Second person joins because they want to serve and protect the public. The third type of person joins because they love the power and control. When you have a person that joins because they love the power and control, how do they gain more power and control? They move up the chain of command until they reach police commissioner. Now once they reach police commissioner, how do they gain more power and control? And this is a sociopathic tendency, by the way. It's insatiable. They never can get enough power and control, just like a billionaire can never get enough money. So you reach the top long your rung of the ladder, you're a police commissioner, and you want to f gain more power. How do you do it? You acquire all this military weapon, the semi-tanks, the MRAPs, the spy drones, and whatnot. And I guarantee you, once you purchase them, they're not going to sit in a warehouse that police commissioner is going to use them. Just killed this nigga for no reason. For no fucking reason. I'm gonna take another one. That's just making my motherfucking sense. Ain't nobody take motherfucking this motherfucker. I'm gonna move. I'm breaking my motherfucking police. Fuck this. They should have killed that boy for no motherfucking reason. Hey, hey, you hurt. She talking about some of the
I heard nothing. I'm ain't no, not this time of the day. When no fireworks this early. I'm in a bathroom in a shower. You not finna. What do you do? What do you do? I do you see a gun? Do you see a knife? Do you see anything that would have caused a threat to these motherfucking police officers? They shot that boy because they wanted to shoot that boy. Wait, hold on. What? Wait a minute. They just killed dude. In the middle of the motherfucking street. On that white sheet. Man, he dead as a motherfucker. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. They said he had his hands up and everything, man. I don't know. I went out. I just heard the gunshot. I heard the gunshot from y'all. Peace, everybody. If you've enjoyed the content of this video and other videos on my channel, please contribute to Build a Nation Foundation with the link provided. Thank you.